Hi, welcome back. I want to do a quick flip of a little junk journal I made for a six-year-old girl. So this was my first junk journal that sort of focused on, um, on a child. I've made my daughter's journals, but I know them really well. So this was a little girl I didn't know. And this was for a swap over in a group called Trashy Junk Journals. And it's called The Next Generation. The Next Generation of Swappers. That's kind of fun. So I made this journal with my 10-year-old daughter. And she, the little, my 10-year-old daughter, uh, wanted to do something around princesses. So what I did was I went and I found sort of a board book. It's not a super thick board book of princesses. And we used three, a uh, three ring, three, you know, little ring binders, little rings on it because, uh, my 10 year old pointed out to me that it would be easier for her to take out and put things in rather than if it's sewn into a, a journal or even put in a twine binding that there doesn't give a lot of room for growth. Um, I think my favorite part of the journal is right here is the side part. It, it's actually the front, but and you can't see it because it's so chock-a-block full, but it spells her name. Her name is Kayla, and I made these out of food packaging, and then I glittered them and put diamond glaze on top to give it dimensional uh, a dimensional look. So here, let us go. Let me go through this with you really quick. This was my first three ring binding. Uh, I don't know if I, I don't know how I would do it differently next time. I found it a bit challenging because I have never done one, but I enjoyed it. So as I said, my favorite part was the uh, the letters that I made. So you know what I did was the idea is that everything has to be. Uh, seventy-five percent of your journal had to be from recycled like used book pages that sort of thing not scrapbooking paper so that was fun so what I did was I took some children's books apart book of books that I enjoyed apart and I just by color and theme well actually my ten-year-old decided as well these just came from a magazine images I, I looked through uh, a couple of different regular fashion magazines Oprah Vogue, different things, and found some kind of fun bits and pieces, and we, we picked them out together. Kayla loves cats, and so does my 10-year-old, so my 10-year-old drew her some cats, and I made her my little book, my book page, library pockets. Um, I did go back and find some other board books, and I made tags from the board books, uh, for another princess book, and this is from a Pop-Tart box. So, you know, she can, the ones that are made from board books, she can, you know, use as bookmarks or even, you know, collage on them. I found it, it was really fun making this journal. I will say it was a bit challenging for me because I know what I like and what I enjoy in a journal. And um, so when you're thinking about a six-year-old, it's maybe not exactly what you're familiar with. Um, what was kind of fun was like, this was a piece of scrapbooking paper and no this was a, a bingo card from a, a children's bingo game and I took a security envelope made a pocket from it and inside it's just got some fun coloring pages and she likes my little pony and just some fun things the little dog images came out of a fashion magazine as well so you know you never know what you have and what you what you're what you can use I used calendar pages children's dictionary pages it's so full. I'm I'm finding that it's easier if I open and close it like a hinge to keep the pages straight. You know, I don't know about you, but whenever I start one of these projects, I always have the idea that it's going to be, I don't know, I think I probably overthink it. Um, I did go back and find, like, this is a picture of Disneyland, the, you know, the Magic Castle. I did try to find, like, fun things, and she loves animals, and my 10-year-old loves dogs and cats so because she was a huge influence in what we put in we cut out lots of cats and dogs and animals so you know there are little bits and pieces for her to to journal on um, I did include some collaging bits in the back of the journal and uh, so she can go back and glue them in I, I'm still really in love with these tabs that spelled out her name and if it if it if you could see it straight up, 
you would see that you can see her whole name. It's just so full, and from the camera angle, it's difficult. I did go back and cut out um, magazine images. I live in the Hawaiian Islands, so I cut out uh, magazine images from here for her. Um, and more dictionary pages. This is very nice textured scrapbooking paper. She might want a collage on it. This is a, a die cut, but it's a thick die cut, like on a heavy, thick chipboard. So she could take it off and paint it if she wanted it. I did go ahead and make a, a pocket in the back out of a dictionary page, and inside of it are some small little primary readers that uh, my daughter and I found at our used bookstore that she thought she would like. And inside some more some pattern paper as well for her to cut up. This is the front of the yellow pages here. You know, kids' activity books. This is from where I live. This is a protea plant that grows here. And then obviously it's whale watching season right now. So we have lots of images and whale of whales and the things that we have. She does love my little pony, so my ten year old found her some my little pony images and fussy cut them and we put them in uh, to accompany a little library, jelly printed library pocket that we made. And then another princess tag. This came from our local hardware store. It's a calendar page with a pink llama. Yes. And then more children's activity pages. You know, and this is what it looks like if you come snorkeling here in Maui. This is exactly what you would see. These fish and turtles and my daughter thought that was fun. And you can see some more of the tabs with her, made with her name. So we had a fun time putting this together. I, it was a lot more difficult than I thought. Um, you know, I just didn't, I, I guess I really didn't think about it. This is just a little glassine bag that I love, those grocery store glassine bags, sandwich bags, and inside of it is just stuff that that my 10 year old fussy cut and some some Dr. Seuss cards. And then we made a, a pocket out of a Dr. Seuss page from a, from a Dr. Seuss book. And this is another drawing by my 10 year old, which I thought was very sweet, it's a bunny. So, we just included some more little reading books and uh, just things that we thought she'd like, some stickers, another little tuck spot made from on the back of a magazine page made from a Dr. Seuss book. You know when you're, I think the other side was ice cream, so you know when you're 10 you're sort of obsessed with ice cream. And more library pockets and, you know, fussy cut images of animals from magazines, children's dictionary pages, you know, more pattern paper with uh, tags associated a primary writing you know writing pad I'm sorry I keep closing it and opening it I just don't want the pages to get messed up so it's 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 a little bit more challenging uh, than you might think I included some jelly printing paper so maybe her mom will collage with her bingo card and as you can see this is when we took apart the board book um, we I used them there's five pages uh, the cover and the back cover and then three in between and that's where I glued the the packaging labels on. I did make her some fun paperclip embellishments and they are made similar to the the tabs just food packaging that I've I think there's three or four layers of it done with glitter some diamond glaze and uh, paperclip in between you know, it was fun. This was fun. We had uh, some taken some books apart for, from previous journals, and so we cut the cover to be a pocket. It didn't come quite like this. We fussy cut around it so it'd be like a dimensional pocket, and inside's a book of stickers. And more bits and pieces from where we live, and book pages. calendar pages and I love this because it looked like a princess and this was fussy cut from a fashion magazine and so were the flowers as well and 
we made a pocket out of a popsicle box and it's on the back of a piece of scrapbooking paper and then added some bling at the bottom um, there you can see it better in the in the frame and then it, inside's just some book pages and some paper flowers and tag and stuff like that um, I did a while back I love buying things when they're on sale and they had these really colorful pencil cases um, on sale I think at Target and so I put that in and inside is a bunch of just fun goodies for her. I oh, went a little handmade book. So this is like a little accordion style book made from scrapbooking paper. I thought she might really enjoy. It has tags and it has um, paper clip embellishments and it was just fun. It was fun making it and then it's really I think it was really fun thinking that you know now she has little places to write in it and has all kinds of little tags and tabs and stuff in it for her and then there's a bunch of other you know paper uh, just embellishment tags and cards and journaling cards and just fun little bits and pieces for her to add to her journal and then you can see the back so thank you for joining me for my flip through and I hope this inspires you to try and make your own version of a trashy junk journal for someone you know and love and as always from my heart to your heart I'm sending you so much aloha. Take care.